How good are you at keeping promises or agreements? How many times have you had to make excuses on why you couldn't keep a promise or honor an agreement? What attitude do you have when you default on an agreement? Are you like, well, I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. So what? When someone breaks their promise or do not honor their agreement with you, how does that make you feel? And how do you react to it? Do you throw your toys in the air and make it seem as if your whole bloodline, tracing it back to Adam and Eve, has been betrayed? How long does it take you to recover or do you hold it against that person forever? Now let's bring it back home. How often do you keep promises or honor agreements you make with yourself? Why does, it, why does it feel different when you break your own promises? Does it mean you don't value yourself as a being that should stick to promises or own agreements with oneself? Why do we find it easy or okay to betray ourselves? Examples of these promises or agreements we usually let ourselves down on are health promises we make to ourselves to start exercising to stop eating certain foods, to start eating right, or to start a certain routine so we can get into a better, healthy life. It could be on getting regular medical checkups to avoid surprises when it's too late. Lifestyle promises we make to ourselves on how we should live, where we should live, what we want to change about our lifestyle or life in general, so we can align with what we value in our lives. It could be agreements to do with our careers. When we make agreements with ourselves on what career we want and what steps we need to take to get there, promises on changing our career to that which will bring fulfillment to our lives. Relationships. When we enter into relationships or enter into a relationship with a person, do we make conscious decisions on what we really want out of it? Or do we find ourselves awkward and not being ourselves in those relationships? Or do we act as though we are under duress? It could be promises to change the company we keep. When we have a dream or a desire to do something, and we find ourselves pro procrastinating, not seizing the opportunity well in time, or maybe just not following through or forgetting about them. Do we let our other people dictate to us who we should acquaint, how we should be, making us forget who we really are, or are we so concerned about other people's thoughts and judgments, or whether they will approve? Of course, it's not always possible to get all we want, but there comes a time in our lives when we need to make these important promises or agreements with ourselves. From what I've learned in my life, when you make agreements with yourself, there are some things to keep in mind, and that is to never trade your freedom for money, for status, or for, for approval from others who may also be struggling to keep their own personal agreements. It is important to make promises or agreements with yourself and be strict to honor your own just you would expect someone else to do with you. It is not wise to dishonor your own agreements just because you don't have anyone else to account to, account to or lest you find yourself in the regret, the regret couch. I am guilty of this mistake and I share this life lesson trying to help someone out there not to make the same mistakes of not honoring my own promises or agreements well in time and then finding myself later in life having to work under pressure to change so many things within a short space of time. What I've learned is betrayal is betrayal whether you do it to someone else or to yourself. Give it some thought and start being loyal to yourself. You are just as important as the next person. 
be serious with your own and start honoring your promises or agreements. As I always say, it's never too late to change in life. Go for it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and also subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Till next time, bye bye.